Hello everyone, this is Charlie from HotTipsCentral.com here to show you how you can jailbreak your iPhone 4 running iOS 4.2.1 and still preserve your baseband so that you can use Ultra Snow to unlock it. Uh, this is kind of a tricky process, but there's, with the new Green Poison uh, jailbreak being out, it is actually very simple. So we're going to go ahead and just follow our own tutorial. Uh, on. I've written up the tutorial for this already. I had this out. It's been revised. So uh, this I can now follow this and um, show you that it does work step by step. So right now, uh, you can look in iTunes. I have got the window shoved over so you can't see my whole serial number and phone number. But uh, I'm running a firmware version 4.1. And if I open up, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you my phone. All right, here it is. I'm running... I'm on the AT&T network. It's named your iPhone because I just thought it would be funny. And it is on version 4.1. Uh, it is not on the latest firmware yet. However, I will show you right now. I can just go ahead and cover up my crucial information here. I am on the modem I am on modem firmware. Wow, I can't even There it is. I'm on modem firmware 2.1. There. Anyway. So the latest baseband is 0310, and I'm on 0210, so I won't be able to. I technically won't be able to unlock my phone after I'm done, but my baseband is going to be preserved anyway. So you'll know the steps work. So if you have 015900, you'll still be able to unlock, as the uh, tutorial uh, suggests. Okay, so that's what I've got there. So let's follow these steps. Uh, we've got. Uh, right here. First, we got to up. You're going to update your iTunes to the latest version of iTunes. That's 10.1.2. Done that already. Then you're going to use the link to download Tiny Umbrella from here. Also done that already. And you can see both of these. Uh, yep. Okay. You're also going to need Green Poison, which is right here on my desktop. I've got Green Poison and I've got Tiny Umbrella already open and ready to go on my desktop. That's really cool. So let's begin. First, thing we're going to do is connect the iPhone to the Mac. And I've done that already because my USB cable is plugged in. You can see also, if you haven't noticed already, this I've restored this already. This is a stock 4.1 firmware. It is completely unjailbroken. I haven't even um, moved the contacts app from the second page yet. So I, this is completely untouched. And that is how we're going to show it. Now, you, if you have it jailbroken already, cool, whatever, doesn't matter. So you need green poison. Easy enough to get. You need Tiny Umbrella. Again, easy enough to get. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to start up Tiny Umbrella. We're going to make sure that the software can see the iPhone and that everything within the program is reading that the iPhone is connected and it sees the baseband. Simple enough. So let's go ahead and open up Tiny Umbrella. And once that opens, there it goes. And this is just something for a little snitch. So. Don't ignore that. You won't have that problem. And okay, so here's my iPhone. It is connected. It sees all the SSHs that I have for this device, and it can see all this information down here. Uh, granted, your um, I photoshopped out and After Effects out this information down here already, so you're not going to have to. Uh, yeah. So this your information is here, but mine isn't. Okay. The first thing you are going to want to do is up to this button here. You're going to want to start TSS server. And if you go to the log tab, you want to make sure that this check mark is here and that it says Tiny Umbrella's TSS server is running. All right, and you can see the log file down here as well. Okay. So that's wonderful. Next, in the steps, we want to open iTunes. Good idea to back it up already. So, open iTunes. You'll notice that iTunes was open and now it's closed. It's because when you start the TSS server, iTunes will close. Now it says, the new iPhone software update is available for this. Would you like to do this? Okay, well, according to our steps that we need to do, when offered the update from iTunes, click download and update. Simple enough. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So, TSS server is running. Again, make sure that the TSS server is running. And just go ahead and click update. It will extract the software. Go ahead and make this 
window really small again. It'll verify that the steps are going with Apple, etc., etc. And let me just show you my iPhone screen. You see it's in recovery. It's doing its thing. And this video is going to skip slash speed up a little bit so you don't have to see the entire process unfold. So just, I guess, watch it speedy. Ready, set, go. Okay, welcome back. So I skipped ahead in the video a little bit so you guys didn't have to sit through the entire restoration process. Uh, and now I, it's done and my phone is stuck in recovery mode. And you'll see that I got this little error here that says uh, you know, 1013 error, could an error occurred, whatever. And if you look at the article, this is actually what it's supposed to uh, do. If it does that, it means that you're, you're, it's all good. It's just because your baseband wasn't updated. So now we're going to go ahead and put our device in DFU mode. That's step 10. And to do that, we're going to hold down power and home until the screen goes black. We're going to count to two slowly and then release power, but continue to hold home for another two or three seconds. I like to hold it a little longer than that just because I don't like messing it up because that's kind of, yeah, it's just a waste of time if you mess it up. So let's go ahead and put the device in DFU. It's still connected via USB. If you haven't disconnected it yet, that's important. Go ahead and just hold down power and home. 1001, 1002, release power, keep home held down. And you can probably release it now, I would think. And let's see what that does. Let's see if I held it down long enough. Looks like I did. So the device is now in DFU mode. It's still, it's a type of recovery mode, but it's not a type of recovery mode at the same time. So, but iTunes will detect it in, in recovery mode anyway. So now that our device is in DFU mode, we're going to go ahead and start step 11 in our process, and that is opening green poison. Since the uh, device is in DFU mode already, we won't have to do all the steps in green poison to, that people normally have to do when they're jailbreaking. Now, if you have the latest version of Green Poison, and I highly recommend you do, get the latest version if you haven't already. It's RC6 as of this video. It'll ask you to jailbreak Apple TV or not, and we're not doing Apple TV, so hit no. If you were doing Apple TV, there's a few other steps that you know a note that it gives you, and you'd hit yes. But since we're not doing that, we're going to hit no. And now we're just going to go ahead and hit jailbreak. And when we do that, it'll tell us. We have to go ahead and get ourselves in DFU, but it doesn't actually, you know, need to, us to do that. So we're going to allow all this stuff to happen. It'll say jailbreaking, 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 and we're going to go look at look at our phone. It'll flash a white screen in your face, and then the jailbreak will begin. It's a little doodad here. I'm going to move this window over so you can see. And put green poison back in the screen. There it is. And so you'll get this black screen and it'll start doing a whole bunch of lines of code and keep in mind we haven't booted up our phone yet uh, the phone has not been booted up fully like untethered or anything and iTunes hasn't really recognized it if we go into iTunes right now you can see that the error is still up on our screen we haven't even clicked OK on it yet and this is all happening uh, this is all happening before that so that's good so we're gonna go ahead and just wait for this to happen wait for it to happen it'll do its thing Got to be patient with these things. Really got to be patient with these things. And you can see it's got a nice little animated boot logo that kind of glitches out on the app a little bit, but I think it's part of the effect. Maybe not. And now the device reboots itself. There's no need to kick it out of recovery with a tiny umbrella. It does it automatically. There's your little animated boot logo. And this is, this real progress bar right here is it kicking it out of recovery mode. And there you go. So now we are restored. My phone vibrated. And you can go ahead and click this OK message. We don't need that open anymore. iTunes is going to detect your phone.
and it's going to ask you to set it up as a different phone or what. I always set it up as a new phone when I do it a, a new thing, so we can try that. You can just, as you can see, it is activated now, and it's fully unlockable, ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and set it up as a new phone because it's the fastest. And I'm gonna name this what I want to name it, and I'm gonna name it Charlie 4G because well, that's what I always name my phones. Sync calendars, sync activations, whatever. I'm gonna hit done, and it's gonna do its thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop the sync process just so I can show you what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to go ahead and cancel the sync. And I'm going to show you now. I'm going to go ahead and put the screen up. And this is a this is this is iOS 4.2, right? And I'm going to show it that it is. Go ahead and go to general and then about. And you're going to see right now I'm still on the AT&T network of course. And my firmware is now 4.2.1, AT&T Carrier 9.0. Scroll down to my modem firmware, and again, I'm going to have to block my other stuff here. And you can see my modem firmware, I'm terrible at this, <laughs> is 2.10.04. So my modem firmware did not move. Even though it is this is a previous modem firmware, it didn't move, and I'm still on iOS and I'm on iOS 4.2.1 now. As you can see, uh, this is the firmware. If you scroll to the second page, you'll see a new icon there. It says Loader. That's the Green Poison thing. Go ahead and click Loader, and it'll load up all of its little sources. Do its thing, and there's Cydia. You can go ahead and just click Cydia, and say Install Cydia. It will download Cydia. It doesn't take too long. If you're doing this from your cellular network, and you have good service, this shouldn't take too long. If you're doing this from Wi-Fi, like you bothered to connect to Wi-Fi first, like I should have done, uh, then it'll take a lot less, but it'll just say success. And then you'll have Cydia on your home screen. And then there you go. Now you're jailbroken, and now you can have all the fun you want. So uh, forget, don't forget to hit subscribe and favorite the video and like it and all that other good stuff that you guys do on YouTube. And uh, if you have any issues, visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hot tip without the S. And um, also check out a lot of our other articles at hottipcentral.com.